Here at Alternate Reality, we have always believed that kids are the future of this industry, and that's why I have the largest kids selection of any other store anywhere. Come on down to Alternate Reality, and you'll find comics and trade paperbacks on Pixar characters like Toy Story and Cars, Muppets, Disney, Simpsons, DC and Marvel characters, of course, like Tiny Titans, Scooby-Doo, Spider-Man, and Marvel superheroes. I also have a large selection of girls' comics and girls-related trade paperbacks, as well as illustrated classics and a whole lot more. Readers are leaders, so come on down to Alternate Reality with your little one and pick up some comics that both of you can enjoy. It'll take way more than a weekly review should have slow your senality, boys. But hey, A for effort. Read my lips. <laughs> February 9th, 2011 has been quite a week for Comic Book Man. Well, I'll let him explain. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to Week in Review. This is the Week in Review for February the 9th, 2011. This is part three of a three-part Week in Review, which makes all the sense in the world, it being part three. Uh, but this third part is a tack-on. I was going to originally talk about the first part of this in either part one or part two of Week in Review, but events conspired against me this week, and so I'm dumping this into a whole third section on its own, and we're going to get to it in just a minute as to the reason why. Uh, Thursday... Uh, my time here at the store. We had this come out, which I've talked about before on Shipshape Update. This is the Southtown Economist, and it's the story I'm going to talk about is not about Mo, Larry, and Curly here who got arrested. No, instead I'm going to talk about this. This wonderful, wonderful article that was written by Casey Toner in the Southtown Star. And Casey did this profile of alternate reality and me, which I appreciate. And, and he said a lot of nice things about the store. He said a lot of nice things about me. If you ever want to know anything about me, uh, my personal life, and it doesn't get real deep, you know, be sure to read this. You can go to southtownstar.com and look this up, or you can just come to the store and read it because I got it hanging up. Boxers here. or briefs, kind of I'm sort of proud of it. No, it doesn't go in that deep. It doesn't go in that deep. Uh, but... Thursday was a good day for me. Uh, I picked this up in the morning. I sat down. I read it. I, you know, I was. I'd seen this the night before online because I read it online, so I, I knew what it said. But I got a whole page. I got a whole page. That's pretty cool. Nice picture. I, yeah, it's a nice picture. It, it's, nice. It, it's taken right here. Okay, where I'm standing. And 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 you know, this is pretty cool. So anyway, I come to the store and I've got this. And I'm feeling pretty good. And. The mail lady comes we knew by. It couldn't last. Peter the mail lady. The mail lady comes by to deliver the mail. She Peter drops off the mail and she looks at me and she says, "I hear they're forcing you out. What, why are you? Why are you leaving? What's happening?" And I look at her. I go, "What do you mean forcing me out?" She says, "I'm delivering mail to the neighborhood and you and a bunch of other businesses are getting forced out. What? What's the problem? You you guys are you guys are moving? They're they're kicking you out of the neighborhood. What's the matter?" I said, "I don't know what you're talking about." Okay, she said, "Wait a minute. I'll go get it." So she went. She went back to one of the previous places she was at. And she picked up a piece of mail. Now, this isn't the one she gave me. It's the same one. But another one of my customers came in and gave this to me. She has to deliver the mail, so I don't want her to get in trouble. She delivered her mail. But she showed it to me. And this is the first time I'd ever seen this. Here in Mount Greenwood, we have an aldermanic ward going on. Alternate reality is located in the 19th ward of the city of Chicago. The 19th ward is made up of three neighborhoods. Mount Greenwood, which we talk about incessantly, Beverly and Morgan Park. Uh, the alderman, Ginger Rugai, who's been serving now for years and years and years, is stepping down. And so we have an open aldermanic election. And the two front runners are Matthew O'Shea and Ann Scheibel, uh, Dr. Ann Scheibel, who put this flyer out. This went to, I assume, every single resident in the 19th Ward, which is thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people, because a lot of people live in this ward. Uh, and nobody ever talked to me about this. Now, if you, if, if you read this, it says, 19th Ward, will the last business leave the 19th Ward? Please turn out the lights. Sincerely, 19th Ward political bosses. And if you read across here, it leads you right to here, and this store here. And it, alternate reality is the most prominently featured picture on this whole page. There's a bunch of other ones here, but alternate reality is the one that sticks out like a sore thumb right underneath this. And I, first thing I said to her was, I have no idea what this is. I'm not going anywhere. And I don't know why she did this. Then, about an hour later, one of my customers came in with this, and he gave it to me, and he said, what's the deal? Are you, are, are you moving? Why, why are they trying to force you out? And it went like that for the next two days. And I got this email from 
a woman named Kathleen, I'm not going to give her last name, uh, and it says, I was very surprised to see your business so prominently featured in two items that came across my desk. Kudos to you on your wonderful article in the South Town yesterday. You should be very proud. I was dismayed to see your store featured on a very negative campaign piece one of the aldermen and candidates sent out. I am not sure if you gave them permission, but felt it was a disservice to be painted that way, especially in light of your wonderful article. Best of luck on your next 16 years. And on Facebook, I put this. The 19th Ward Alderman and candidate, Ann Scheibel, has a mailer out that prominently features alternate reality as part of her campaign message. The store's image is used without our permission, and we were not consulted on it. Alternate reality's position is, has been, to be neutral in politics. I have not now, nor I have ever endorsed any campaign or any candidate for any elected offices. I sell comics, not political candidates. Folks, if you've gotten one of these and you live in the 19th Ward, I had nothing to do with this, again, for the umpteenth time. I have never met Ann Scheibel. I do not wish her ill will. I, do, I, I, I am not endorsing her. I am not detracting her. I'm not doing anything to her. The same with Matt O'Shea, who actually I met today. Matt O'Shea stopped by the store because I did call him because I wanted him to know I had nothing to do with this. Uh, and he came in, we had a nice talk, and he understands perfectly everything, and you know, he's, he's not mad at me or anything, I'm not lined up against him or anything like that. But this really put a damper on this, okay? This is ying, this is yang, this is up, this is down. And you know what? I got enough problems running a business without having to deal with crap like this. So Anne, good luck in your election. And that's all I got to say about that. And that's it. We can review for this week. But we're not leaving. Done. We're not going. We're not. Where are we going? No, the alternate going? reality is not going any place. Yeah. Alternate reality is not going any place. We are not leaving. We are not moving. We're not being forced out. And I am not sleeping with Aunt Scheibel. And the reason I mentioned that is I have had someone come in here and ask me that. Someone came here. Someone came in here and said, "I got this at home. How long have you been sleeping with her? What do you mean? Well, look at how prominently you're placed. I have not." had sexual relations with that, that woman, Miss <laughs> Scheibel. I don't care what anyone says. I have not done it. And Anne, if you have a problem with that, you started this, not me. <laughs> and so that's it. We're done. We're finished. We're out of here. The week is finally what done. Week. What that ends week. week in review for February the 9th, 2011. You'd think the snow would be enough from last week, but no, I've got that on top of it. Stop off at the store's website if you want to see more weekend reviews, if you want to see more ship shape updates, if you want to see any of our wonderful video outhouse stuff. And where's the store's website at? And Scheibel knows. <laughs> what? <sighs> www.myalternatereality.com. She looks a lot like Sarah. So stop off at the store's website, check it all out. Until next time, this is Comic Book Man saying, in the upcoming election, vote for the candidate of your choice, whoever that may be. Bye. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.